Jackson Town Church of God Sunday. It was Sunday night, wasn't it? In a wheelchair. And she was in a wheelchair, wasn't she? I went there in a wheelchair. And you see, now I'm walking. What a testimony. And I think there was some like 59 people came out when it was advertised that Mindy was going to give her testimony about God bringing her out of the wheelchair. Can you imagine what if, if God did those things just all the time? You'd never be able to get them in the parking lot or get them in this place. But yet that's what God wants. I know God can do it and will do it. I've seen him do it. But you've got to step out in faith and you've got to recognize who's in authority and you've just got to do it. Because God said you can do it. And by faith I do it. I remember when we was running four buses in California. And there was an evangelist came and talked to me. And they had opened up the morgue in, in, in Los Angeles, California to the evangelists and to the pastors because they wanted to come in and show them all the bodies of young people in there stacked in the morgue because they had to keep the bodies for six months waiting for someone to claim it. And they went into that place, and it was just stacked with young people, 11, 12, 13, 14 years old, that had been hooked in drugs and sex and whatever it takes in order for the drug habit to make. And this evangelist that was talking to me said the devil whispered to him while he was in there, and he said, these are my trophies. I'm going to tell you what. The devil thinks the kids around here are his trophies. Hallelujah. I got news for him. They're not his trophies. And God says, go out and get them and bring them in. When he told me that, we was already running four buses. We didn't really have the money to go out and buy more buses. We said, we're going to double them. We just went out and bought four at a time. And was running eight buses and busing 400 kids in. They're not his trophies. They're Jesus' trophies. Bring the little ones to Jesus. They'll accept Jesus as their Savior. You've got to really go after these old folks and dig, dig, dig to get them to come in and accept Jesus, but not a little child. Man, you just talk to them, and they'll give their heart to Jesus in a minute. And I told my Sunday school teacher, don't you let one of these kids get out of here without accepting Jesus as their personal Savior, and the rest is up to the Lord to keep them or bring them back. Hallelujah. Recognizing who is an authority. One more story just before we close or have our altar service. This was when I was stationed in the Azores and was having prayer meeting in our home to build a church over there. And we was picking up this one lady to come to church. She was a Presbyterian lady, by the way. Pre but it was a Sunday school in a Presbyterian church. Anyhow, I went to pick her up one night, our prayer meeting night in her home. We had our prayer meeting there to raise money to build a church. And I went to pick her up, and she was very sick. She was in bed. She had severe stomach cramps. And she wasn't much familiar with the, with the, with the teachings of healing. And, and I said, well, we'll pray for you in our prayer meeting tonight. And she says, well, would you pray for me right now? And I said, well, do you believe what they lay hands on the sick and they shall recover? She said, if you tell me that, I believe it. I lay hands on her. She took my hand and she laid it on her stomach where the cramps were. Later on, she had a testimony that where my hand lay on her stomach all through the night, it, when that cramp would start to come back, there would be a warm stop, just a warm spot to sink through there, and that cramps would go away immediately. Hallelujah. Recognize who is an authority. That's a, we just got to do it. We just got to do it by faith, step out and do it. The things I do, he said, I shall do also. And then a little later on, her little boy, two years old, was with a babysitter one night. And when he came home, he had swallowed a whole bottle of baby aspirins they took him to the hospital and the doctor said well you're, it's too late his brain's going to be affected in other words he's going to be a basket case if he lives they called us to go pray for him and when we went to pray for him we asked god to give us a miracle that would shake everybody on that island we were on an island the next morning the dad, boy's dad was coming down to our house for breakfast and then we was going back up to the hospital to visit, visit with, with his son. It was in the hospital. We ate our breakfast, and we went up there, and guess what? 
We get up there, and they had that little boy. He was all dressed, playing in his wherever they had him in that crib, dressed and ready to come home. Now he's about 40 years old, and I went to visit his mom and dad down, they're down in Florida now a couple years ago. And you know what? That, that boy says, you know, I owe Pastor Peck my life because he prayed for that miracle 40 years ago, and God brought me, at, brought me through it. Recognizing who is in authority. All we are is a conduit for God. All we got to do is believe it and act up on it. That's the thing, to believe it and act up on it and believe God to do it and, and just give God the time to do it. Amen? Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I lost my song leader. Oh, okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Would you bow your head with me a moment? Glory to God. Glory to God. Can I assume everybody in here tonight has given their heart to Jesus? Everybody's accepted him as their Savior. If, you've been, if you're saved tonight, we'll just raise your hand there for a minute. Just raise your hand and put it back down. I'm saved. I'm saved. Raise it. Would you do that? I'm saved. Raise it. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. I hope you're not that small. I hope you're not that slow when the rapture takes place. It's going to be in a moment of twinkling of an eye. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, then. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Well, thank you, Lord. How about tonight if you need a miracle in your life? You've got a situation that only God can take care of. If you have that, I want you to just come forward. Be the first ones to come forward tonight. We're going to pray for God to give you a miracle. We're going to recognize who's in authority tonight. I need a miracle. Hallelujah. I need healing tonight. Would you come? Come on. While I wait just a minute. I need a miracle tonight. Glory to God. Need a miracle tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Anybody else?